was still on the phone with uh, non-emergency, and I started walking. Okay. Down this way. And because I didn't see a street sign here, but I knew if I went straight through that that's Retreat View Circle, and I could give him an address. He said, just give me the address of the house you're in front of. Okay. And there's no address because this is the back of the house. So I walked straight through here. I didn't see him at all. I was walking, and I was still on the phone with him, uh, non-emergency. Okay. I got to about I got to about here, and I had a flashlight with me. Okay. The flashlight was dead though, and I looked around, and I didn't see anybody, and I told non-emergency. I said, you know what? He's gone. He's not even here. Right. So, I still thought I could use their address, so I walked all the way through. And I actually walked all the way to the street, and I was going to give them this address, and they said, well, if he's not there, do you still want a police officer? And I said, yes. And They said, do you still want a police officer? And I said, yes. And they said, are you following him? Oh, I'm sorry, back there, they said, are you following him? And I said, yes, because I was, you know, in the area. Right. And they said, we don't need you to do that. And I said, okay. So I, that's when I walked straight through here to get the address so that I could meet the police officer. And then they said, uh, I said, he's not here. They said, do you still want him to come? And I said, yes. And they said, where do you want him to come to? And I said, you know what, just tell him to meet me at my truck next to the clubhouse. If he goes straight in through the clubhouse and makes a left, I have a Honda Ridge Line, Silver Honda Ridge Line is parked right there. I'll meet him right there. So I started walking back. When I got to I passed here, I looked, I didn't see anything again, and I was walking back to my truck. And then when I got to right about here, he yelled from behind me to the side of me. He said, yo, you got a problem? And I turned around, and I said, no, I don't have a problem, man. Where's and he, where was he at? About? He was about there, but he was walking towards me. Okay, so he was coming from this direction here. Yes, sir. I believe, Like I said, I was already past that, so I didn't see exactly where he came from. But he was about where you were. Okay. And I said, no, I don't have a problem. And I went to go grab my cell phone, but my, I left it in a different pocket. And I went, I looked down in my pant pocket, and he said, you got a problem now. And then he was here, and he punched me in the face. Right here? Right up, up around here. Okay. To be honest, That's fine. I don't remember exactly. That's fine. Um, I think I stumbled, and I... I fell down, he pushed me down, somehow he got on top of me. On the grass or on the snow? It was over, more over towards here. I think I was trying to push him away from me, and then he got on top of me somewhere around here. And uh, that's when I started screaming for help. I started screaming, help, help, as loud as I could. And, uh, then is when he grabbed me. Oh, I, I tried to sit up, and that's when he grabbed me by the head and tried to slam my head down. And were you on the, I guess I on the cement? Or you on the no, my body was on the grass. My head was on the cement. You could feel your best like this on this one? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, that's as best as I could feel through my okay. jacket. Mm -hmm. it was, I felt like my body was on the grass and my head was on the cement, and he just kept slamming and slamming. And uh, I, just, I kept yelling, help, help. He put his hand on his nose, uh, on my nose, and his other hand on my mouth. He said, "Shut the fuck up." And uh, then I tried squirming again because all I could think about was when he was hitting my head against. It felt like my head was going to explode, and I thought I was going to lose consciousness. So I tried to squirm so that I could get, because he he only had a small portion of my head on the concrete. So I tried to squirm off the concrete, and when I did that. Somebody here opened the door, and I said, help me, help me. And they said, 
I'll call 911. I said, no, help me. I need help. And I don't know what they did, but uh, that's when my jacket moved up and I had my, my firearm on my right side hip. My jacket moved up and he saw it. I feel like he saw it. He looked at it and he said, you're going to die tonight, motherfucker. And he reached for it, but he reached, like I felt his arm going down to my side. And I grabbed it, and I just grabbed my firearm, and I shot him one time. After you shot him, keep on going. What did he say? After I shot him, he like sat up. Okay, you're, you're, you're still in this position here, basically. Yes, you're sir. laying down here. I shot him, so he's in the breast. Yes, sir. He was on top of me like okay. this. I shot him, and I didn't think I hit him because he sat up and he said, "Oh, you got me. You got it. You got me. You got it. Something like that." So I thought he was just saying. I know you have a gun now, I heard it, I'm giving up. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I pushed him off me or he fell off me. Either way, I got on top of him and I pushed his arms apart. And I said, you flip him over? I don't remember that's how that's I got on top of him, I'm sorry. That's fine. But I got on his back and I moved his arms apart because when he was repeatedly hitting me in the face and the, the head, I thought he had something in his hands. And so I just, I, I moved his hands apart. So you had him face down then? Yes, okay. face down, and I was on his back. And then somebody came with a flashlight, and I thought it was a police officer. Mm -hmm. So I said, are you the police? And I, I still had my hand out, and I told him, I said, are you, are you the police? My gun's right here. And he goes, no, no, I'm not. I'm calling the police. And I said, don't call the police. Help me mm -hmm. restrain this guy. And... Uh, he said, I'm calling the police, I'm calling the police. And I said, I already called, they're on their way. They, they're they coming. I need your help. And uh, then when the police officer uh, came around, I saw the police officer, so I stood up and I holstered my weapon. And he said, who shot him? And I said, I did. And I put my hands up. I said, I did. And I I don't know if he told me to, or I just automatically turned my back to him. And I, sh I lifted my shirt and I said, my gun's right there. And I told him, a few times. I said, my gun's right there. And he goes, okay, I understand. I just need you to keep your hands up. And he uh, put the handcuffs on me, and then he took my firearm from me. Any questions? I don't have it. Anything else?